Santa Claus is on the naughty list. Did I really just say that? I've seen some posts throughout the years that have made fun of God because Santa isn't real. The argument is that if Santa's not real and doesn't actually give us presents based on if we're good or bad, then is God even real? And some people even say that Santa's real and God's fake. I don't know the reasons behind these posts. I don't know if people are frustrated to learn that the story of Santa was a myth, but they had been taught that he was real, or if they have different reasons for saying Santa's fake, and if that's true, then we're also being lied to about God. Who knows? Either way, Santa is being compared to God. And like these people are saying, if God isn't real and Santa's not real, then what's even the point of church or religion because it's all just fiction? If the argument's true that they're both not real, then the natural conclusion is that Christianity is pointless. However, God is absolutely real and Santa Claus is absolutely a fictional, magical story. Romans 1 tells us that God's invisible attributes are clearly seen so that men are without excuse. And even better than the general revelation of creation, God has given us his word so that we can know him and his plan for saving us. God doesn't even remotely work like Santa Claus. So, a brief explanation on the origin story of Santa Claus. The story begins with a man who lived in 280 AD whose name was Saint Nicholas. Some people believe this man was a bishop who inherited a great amount of wealth from his parents, and instead of spending all of his inheritance on himself, he would give to those who were less fortunate. And this is great. It seems that this man's faith in Jesus produced in him the spiritual gift of generosity and the fruit of the Spirit. Saint Nicholas seems to know the reality of his sin and his need for a savior. Saint Nick grew in popularity in the church and in American culture, especially among the Dutch families. Gift giving around Christmas became popular and stores started marketing Santa Claus, a shortened and changed name from Saint Nicholas's Dutch name, Sint Niklas. Then in 1822, the poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas was written and became popular in America. This poem inspired the images of Santa being an overweight man who had the magical ability to sneak down chimneys and deliver gifts to everyone in one night. And as Santa's legend grew, the reasons you would get presents grew as well. In the song Santa Claus is Coming to Town, we're told that Santa's making a list of who's naughty and nice. If you're on the nice list, you get presents. If you're on the naughty list, you get coal. Gross. So if you're good, you've earned your presents. Santa will come to your home and deliver your wish list to you. While the origins of Saint Nicholas are worth admiring because it seems he was a Christian man who was extremely generous without making any lists, the story of Santa we now have is the opposite of the gospel. Here's why. Jesus already knows you're not good. Romans 3 says, no one is good, not even one, none is righteous. In John 3, Jesus says that we stand condemned already in our sin, but that he has come into the world to save sinners from the condemnation they rightly deserve. Later in Romans, it goes on to tell us that we are justified by faith. We are justified by our confidence and belief that Jesus Christ was good that Jesus Christ is God clothed in human flesh who fulfilled the law that we could not follow. Through our faith, God justifies us or imputes or credits Jesus' perfect life and righteousness before God to us. His work in his life, his death on the cross as he bears the sin of the world and the wrath of God and his bodily resurrection from the dead ultimately saves us. We receive eternal life, forgiveness of sins, and peace with God freely, freely because of God's work, not our own. Jesus is given to us even when we were God's hostile enemies. So Jesus and Santa aren't even in the same universe with how they give gifts. This is why, as a family, we have personally chosen to tell our kids that Santa isn't real. He's part of a fun, magical story that is fictional. However, we teach our kids that God is real and his true love for them is available in Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. This is what I want them to know and understand as they get older. Plus, they don't have to deal with the eventual realization that Santa's fake. And if Santa's fake, then what else have I lied to them about? It mitigates them wondering if I've lied to them about God, the Bible, their baptism, the church, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life freely come to him based on his goodness and not based on your merits. 
you can also freely come to the Father through Him. If this video blessed you, like it, share it, and leave a question or a comment. If you have any issues with what I've said, leave a comment for me as well. Have a great time as you celebrate the birth of Jesus of Nazareth in your home this year, and have a Merry Christmas. The story begins with a man who lived in AD 280 or 280 AD, whose name was Saint Nicholas.